Namaste, namaste everyone. Um, this is Muji here. Uh, today, as many of you know, is a very regarded as a very holy day in many places. Um, in the tradition of um, sort of master disciple Guru Purnima Day, and it's celebrated uh, primarily in India, but in many many places around the world, where um, if you have a teacher. Or you may call a master, or whatever guru, or whatever. Uh, that is a time. Today is a time that traditionally we come together to say thank you, uh, Guruji. Uh, love you so much, and uh, and please accept uh, accept me as your student. May I continue until I attain that which you have been guiding me to. So today, many people around the world have come to their to their temples, to the mandirs, to the you know to holy places around the world to say thank you to their teachers and so on. And myself also am you know also enjoying and very much participating in this Guru Purnima Day in reverence to Papaji, Sri Ramana Maharishi, to Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj, to Lord Christ. To Holy Prophet uh, Muhammad, um, peace be upon him, to all those who are um, who have walked this planet, and who are walking this planet, uh, sharing from the from the place of truth. And so, I ask with you all to join in this inner reverence to say thank you, thank you to God, um, who is. The very essence of all the masters, all the students, all the people, and to say thank you, thank you that we have this taste of life, and this power of discernment, that you have taught us to, to to choose and to incorporate what is righteous, as is um, as is declared and uh, uh, and made uh, available to us through the scriptures. Through the voice of the masters who have come to share and to help us to come home. Um, here in Mantasaja is a very beautiful morning, a very peaceful day. This morning we held a silent uh, guided uh, meditation a little bit. We just call it silent sitting, and that was a very beautiful moment. And for myself, I would just like to again remind and refresh uh, that uh, invitation. To all the beings who feel uh, an urge within themselves to discover in this life, as much as they can, uh, what is real, what is true, what is everlasting, and this is the purpose for which we are here in Mantasaja, and which I feel I have the privilege to dedicate my life for this. It is not a dedication of any strain in itself. It's a real joy to watch beings coming more deeply into the recognition of their true. Nature, and um, I just want to share a message of encouragement that what we are actually searching for is already the only thing that is perfect in ourselves. Actually, uh, all our thoughts and emotions and feelings and projections and imagination—all these are temporary states. They come and go, and there is something here that does not come and go. I say something. It's not quite a thing, as you know, but uh, words have their limits, don't we know? Um, but what I'm pointing to is that which is unchanging, that which is really worth discovering, and discovering which, um, as a beautiful, mystical way, of blessing automatically every other aspect of our expression, will be touched and infused with its grace and its beauty. This is the gift of God, and so today I would just like to take this time also to share the great love that arises in the heart for all the beings, actually, but those in satsang in a conscious state of um, awakening, they will be the ones who will best receive it, and in whose heart it will convert into a direct experience. So I'll continue to encourage each one. We have our trials and tribulations in life. We have our moments of testing and so on. But I pray that each one will overcome 
uh, whatever obstacles are placed in front of them. You need not be a follower of me. Uh, you may not be a follower presently of anybody. But wherever you are, I say, God bless you. Whoever you are, whatever you have done, I say, God bless you. And uh, I don't want to say especially on this day. Uh, this blessing, I hope, it will continue to, to bless us until we wake up to the truth of who we are. And this world, it is still possible that we, through our awakening, our consciousness, um, and uh, the great beauty that shines from that, the great love and uh, um, harmony, that even this planet uh, can again uh, become a shower of grace, a beautiful uh, land of real love, even though there may be pov- poverty. As sometimes you have heard me say, that there is a, a wealth in poverty, as there is a poverty in wealth. We find that the more we discover of ourselves, God is already releasing and strengthening and maturing us in such ways that we are seeing beauty everywhere, actually. So my prayer that I would like to share with you today is, Holy God, be Thou my own self, meaning that may I become conscious that the essence of who I am, what I truly am, is none other than the one reality that is God. Uh, we may speak in terms of God for those who are especially devoted and devotional to the Supreme Lord of the Universe. There are some others who have gone into a place of self-discovery that is really formless. Uh, we sometimes call them the sages or the yogis who have meditated upon the self beyond form in this Nirguna Brahman state. So for all, all practitioners, all seekers, all the sadhus, all the sages, all the saints, all the sinners also, you know, I say, God bless you. God bless you. God brings light and joy and peace into your heart and your life and amongst the life of your loved ones and even those who may not be considered your loved ones. For the one who is really awake, everyone is a form of the Beloved One. So today I want to take this opportunity. Just again, it is my delight of my heart to say to you that your life is worth it. Your life is of value in in as much as you open your heart to 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 learn more, to discover more about yourself, and about what we mean when we say God, what we mean when we say pure consciousness or awareness, may this deep and widening knowledge uh, come increasingly into your heart. May truth become contagious again. May love becomes contagious again. May we learn to move away from the, the darker energies of resentment and hate and bitterness and false uh, perceptions, and grow as a people. You may say that this is a fantasy, spiritual fantasy, and perhaps it is, but I mean it with all my heart, because God puts this feeling inside me to share with you that may your life be blessed in every way. Of course, we sometimes have to go to challenging moments, difficult, painful moments and experiences, in order to somehow to be even grow more richly and more deeply and more profoundly. We cannot just have a, a Hollywood existence. We cannot have all a nice, sweet existence. In all its way uh, that life serves, the wise person uh, make use of every experience, bitter or sweet, to advance themselves more uh, towards uh, total awakening. So please thank you for your attention, if you are still with me, and allow me to, to wish you well, wherever you are, and whoever you are, whatever religion you are from, whatever um, conditioning you may have been brought up with, still that you are blessed by the One who is beyond conditioning, and uh, who has great love for you, and who has 
placed you in this field of existence for its own divine purpose. So on this Guru Purnima day, I celebrate you and I celebrate God, I celebrate Guruji, Guru Dev, my own master, Sri Punjaji, Papaji, uh, my beloved, and his own Guru, who is my Guru also, Sri Ramana Maharishi. I celebrate as it comes to mind Lord Christ, Lord Buddha, Lord Ram, uh, Sarupanand, uh, Saint Kabir, Saint Rumi, Sri Nasagadatta Maharaj, I may have said before, Sri Yogi Ramsurat Kumar, Ma Devaki, Sri Ananda Maima, Amaji, uh, Gangaji, um, uh, I, am, I, I hope I don't leave. I've got to leave some names out. Because I, I, there is no, there is no end to the, to the pros, procession of sages that that have come, and uh, to uh, all the, uh, the masters and sages um, uh, that come to mind today, even Oshoji is there also, and uh, um, uh, there are many wonderful saints present also. Uh, people like uh, uh, um, uh, Eckhart Tolle and uh, you know um, Sadhguru and uh, many many. I hope I don't do any dishonor by not mentioning the names because there are so many uh, beings who I am aware that they they play such a huge role in the in the in the way of uplifting humankind. And uh, raising the consciousness of of people everywhere. So uh, my respects to you, uh, my love to you all, all everyone, and uh, God who is without bias blesses and nurtures everyone. So have a beautiful day, and may this be be a day of God that does not end for you. So. Um, Om Namah Shivaya Jai Guru Dev uh, Alhamdulillah um, Hallelujah to the true Thank you, thank you, thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you I honour also has come to mind uh, our Prophet T. B. Joshua who I love very much and uh, to I mentioned Amaji and uh, you see, I did not prepare a list when I came here. I did not um, uh, think I, 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 do, I tend not to do that. you know I just prefer just to come from my heart. Uh, Guru Nanak, of course, I, I have such great love for Guru Nanak uh, for. Sri Dattatreya, for um, uh, yes, forgive me if I have if I have not mentioned uh, the names of your masters. Uh, all respect to them, and uh, have a wonderful day. God's day. So just say as it's coming up in me that uh, to invite everyone wherever you're from to to not carry any burdens in your heart to be forgiving of those who may have hurt you intentionally or unintentionally uh, to bless them in fact and to wish them well in all their ways and to um, I pray even for, even for the demons. I pray. I tell you, uh, because they must also enter on the ladder of evolution. Also, for everything that has life, 
and that has proceeded out of the being of God and are sustained by Him. I say, bless you, that your life continues to evolve to higher and higher levels of consciousness. I feel my heart feels very happy and light for saying these things. And um, yes. <laughs>